Hi, it's me Jazzy. I'm back with another tech related video. Today I'm taking another look at the Timu digital microscope that I bought. You may remember I was a little bit disappointed with some aspects of the microscope. Mainly the limitations were the base. You couldn't fit a decent sized PCB in there. There wasn't enough depth and there wasn't much in the way of height to work either. There was more focal length than there was room on the base. So I made a subtle modification. And when I say subtle, I mean, I took it apart. If the limitation was in the base, I figured, let's just lose the base. Honestly, it looks worse than it is. It literally just screws together with a few crosshead screws and some plastic clips. So it's fully reversible, but I don't think I'll ever go back. I did find on the stand, okay, it was kind of useful for looking at components and stuff and small PCBs from phones and tablets, but it had so many limitations. I thought it's got to have a bit of potential without spending any more money on it. So I made a modification that has made it ultimately way more useful. As you can see from the feed behind me, I've got the microscope running, so it must be around somewhere, surely. And yes, it's right here. So all I've done is literally taken it off the stand and I've fitted it into what was an angle poise microphone stand. So as you can see, if I just take the cable out there, all I've done is I've literally just taken what's left of the microscope without the stand and I've just slotted it into what was this angle poise microphone stand that's left over from when I did a bit of streaming. Fortunately, it's a perfect fit for this microphone stand and it's even got a little cut out there so I can get to the focus control. How cool is that? So I've got my angle poise microphone stand that's just screwed onto the edge of my bench here. And that means I can move my microscope around anywhere and you can see the amount of focal length I've got now which was so limited by the height of that stand before so you can see from the stand that I've removed how much we had initially now look we've got all this headroom it's amazing and as you can see I can move that around really easy with the angle poise so I can get to anywhere I can move my PCB around or whatever I'm working on this is an amplifier module from a disco speaker that I'm working on, which has a problem with the high frequency amplifier circuit. There you go, just got to adjust the focus. But if you want to get right in to look at some surface mount stuff, then you can do that. I've got a nice big powerful light along the top here, which again is adjustable. I can move that around. So you can never have too much light above your working area. I just think this is now really useful. This is now turned into a really useful bit of kit. Whereas before I was just using it for identifying components and looking at small circuit boards. I can now use this to look at larger PCBs. If I want to look at a computer motherboard or something like this, or a circuit board out of a television or something, I can do that now and I can move it around and I can move this around. This is in no way a sponsored video. I bought this myself. I just think it's a really cool idea and I'm finding it more and more useful, especially now I've freed the microscope from its plastic stand that was restricting it. I'm amazed actually how far away I can get and still get a focus. That's about on its limit now of how high you can get it and still get a decent focus. I was reasonably happy with the microscope when I got it especially for the price, but I was very disappointed by the stand and the quality of it and it was difficult to wind it up and down and it was just very clunky and horrible. So top tip, if you want a cheap microscope that you can move around and look at stuff without spending a fortune, then get a cheap digital microscope. There's loads of them around on Timu, Wish, AliExpress, anywhere like that and get yourself some sort of stand or arm and there you go. You've got a completely flexible digital microscope solution. You can't say fairer than that. What a brilliant way of doing it. So there you go. As you can see, that's way more useful now. Indeed, I've found it very handy in the last couple of days where I've been working on some active speaker amplifier modules. So of course, you're not gonna get 
the most amazing picture quality but i've got to say it was only 18 pounds the modification cost me nothing because i just happened to have an angle poise microphone stand hanging around i get not everybody's going to have one of those but i think you can pick these up quite cheap or any kind of similar stand really just means i can move that microscope about i'm not limited by the base and i can get a big pcb under there i've got a greater working height and i can also get right down in if i want to look at some surface mount stuff for example so that was just a quick little follow-up on the microscope i thought that was too good not to share i certainly found it a lot easier working on these PCBs in that I'm able to zoom right in and get component numbers and have a look for any iffy components, especially like these modules where you've got a mixture of through hole and surface mount components. So yes, highly recommended. Unlike these little handheld digital microscopes that you can pick up, they're around five or six pounds. I've given one a whirl, really not impressed with it because you cannot adjust the focal length and you've got to have it right on top literally you've got to have it touching whatever it is you're looking at so it's not really ideal for electronics so i wouldn't really bother with those so it was just a quick video today i thought that was too good not to share with you i was rather pleased that i managed to make a little modification that was so simple but yet yeah, it's made that so much more useful because that solved most of the gripes that I had with it. Okay, you're not gonna get the most amazing picture quality from it, but it's good enough, I reckon, for home and hobby use and for 18 quid, that's gotta be a winner, hasn't it? Hope you've enjoyed today's little video. Many thanks to everyone for watching, sharing, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I always appreciate it greatly. I'll be back soon with some more videos on test gear repairs, retro gaming, and electronics kits. So in the meantime, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.